Hey everybody, here's a follow-up video I want to make further talking about uh, Revelation for One Piece next year coming up. If you haven't heard news by now, Oda announced at Jump Festa that we will be starting the Reverie arc and the Wano arc in 2017. Now, for a while we knew about Wano because one of Oda's editors mentioned that Wano will be starting next year, but we did not know about Reverie. And I need to make this video to just further like discuss and further give my thoughts on where this could go. Now I didn't really prep or anything so this is going to be mostly off the cuff, a little discussion to see where things might lead in the future in the upcoming months and throughout 2017. Now with Whole Cake Island being at least over halfway done, I think we'll be finishing up Whole Cake Island maybe around April or May because I think we might go into Reverie by the summertime. By summer that begins when we'll head into Reverie. So where the situation is going in Whole Cake Island, I have no idea right now. So I do believe that given the fact, I mentioned this in my previous video when I discussed my Jump Festa recap, I do believe that given the fact that we know that the Germa Double Six can participate in Reverie even though they don't have their own stable nation, I think after the German situation took care of, and in my opinion, I think Reiju could end up being the new leader of Germa Double Six if anything happens to Judge. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> so I think Reiju could end up being the new leader of German 66, and we might get a quick time skip about a few weeks, and during that time, the German will end up at Mary Joa or Mary Joa, how you pronounce it, whatever, where they meet up to meet to you know gather for the reverie so when that happens you're going to have all these individual figures who have interacted with Luffy personally you have Vivi, Dalton, Correa, Shirahoshi, Rebecca, Viola, King Riku, King Neptune all these individuals who have interacted with Luffy oh how can I forget fucking Wapple <laughs> if Wapple is not at the reverie I'll be disappointed as fuck because Oda set up that entire cover story of Wapple where he's now the king of the Dark Drum Kingdom, I believe is what it's called. So if he does not make an appearance there, I'll be disappointed. And it, since Dalton and Correa and Vivi are going to be there, when they see fucking Wapple, I want the shit. <laughs> I want to see their fucking reaction to Wapple there in the reverie with his smug ass ugly face there. I want to see the reaction to that. And my prediction forever. I've seen a couple of theories so far. Uh, one popular theory is concerning uh, Caribou, um, where Caribou do knows the information that Shirahoshi is an ancient weapon. And since Caribou is in the current uh, hold hold of X Drake, who X Drake is, you know, affiliated with Kaido. Uh, there's a theory that. Caribou is going to, via torture or some other means, spill the beans about Shirahoshi being an ancient weapon. And since Shirahoshi is going to be at the Reverie, it's been foreshadowed, hinted at a few chapters ago that she will be at the Reverie. That could possibly mean that either Kaido is going to rampage in there and abduct Shirahoshi, or one of the other calamities, maybe a uh, king or queen, or maybe even Jack, Jack might make a return, will invade Mary Joa and take Shiroshi. But that brings up another issue. I don't think it's going to be that easy for them to do that if it happens. Because I think that, I think Roger Space mentioned this, where he mentioned that he could believe that uh, Green Bull, Ryoguku, I, the name's kind of hard to pronounce, the original Japanese name. Uh, Ryokugu could be there protecting the entire reverie, protecting all the kings there. So I do not doubt for a second that there will be some world government m marine forces there to protect the entire meeting. So if Kaido or one of his men do try to invade Mary Joa, they're going to have a hard time because the admirals are probably going to be there. You're probably going to have CP0 there as well. So it may not happen, but that's a theory to put out there. And there's another theory that um, once Vivi interacts with uh, with the kings there, they're going to persuade them um, to abolish the Shishibukai system. Because if Fushitora is there at the reverie, 
and given the the information um not information given the history that Vivi had with Crocodile and Alabasta given the uh, uh, the uh, situations and the past examples of Shishibukai betraying them Crocodile and Alabasta uh, Jimbe at Marineford where he sided with Luffy uh, Boa Hancock uh, she didn't really get punished or anything but they definitely knew that she wasn't really like she was definitely protecting Luffy throughout Marineford so they knew that a little bit um, Doflamingo where Doflamingo had control this entire country and he was putting them at complete you know a complete devastation he had some Marines on his control, he was making things difficult, he was manipulating the system and stuff like that. They're gonna use that against them and probably Fujitora will have enough evidence there to back up his goal to abolish the Shishibukai system. That could happen and there's another theory which I really like where given that time skip, by the time the reverie begins, the Straw Hat crew with Sanji and Toe will all be together at Wano. And while reverie is happening to the current, to the Wano arc, they're going to get the breaking news of Kaido's defeat in the middle of the reverie meeting. Now, this I like this, but it brings in the suffering that needs to happen because Rev not Reverie, Wano is definitely not going to be a short arc. It's going to be a very long arc given the fact that we're dealing with taking down Kaido, one of the four emperors. And so once Kaido's taken down, which probably won't be until like late 2018, if not early 2019 at the earliest, that means they won't get the results of the battle until, until like almost two years later, a year later from when the arc started. So that would leave us a bit on a cliffhanger for a while. So I'm not too sure how that would work for some readers, but that's a nice interesting theory to put out there where with the defeat of Kaido, that would have the kings, you know, try to I would encourage them to either boost, uh, make the world government boost their overall defenses or their overall strategy against the four emperors, or would it make the world government want to push forward and take over Kaido's territory before anyone else could take up that vacuum? Because it's going to be a vacuum of power right there. And maybe Blackbeard. Oh, maybe Blackbeard could show up at the Reverie. Who knows? Um, do you think Dragon might show up? That's a possibility. That's a theory. Um, I'm not too sure of the possibility of Dragon might show up. Maybe Sabo, or maybe one of the other revolutionary army commanders might show up. But really, all I want out of this arc, Reverie, is for more information pertaining to the One Piece world. That's one of the best parts of One Piece, where you get the world building aspect, information pertaining to the entire world at large. And as for Wano, Wano, I don't see Wano starting until like late summer, early fall. That's definitely when Wano could start at the latest. But I'm not too sure where things might go Wano because it's definitely going to happen after Whole Cake but we have to see where things go with Big Mom because if Big Mom gets involved with anything involving the Kaido situation that could have two emperors going up against each other and that could be really hectic and oh man I, that would be insane that would be absolutely crazy man <laughs> it's ridiculous anyway that's just my quick thoughts on like everything to do with the reverie and a little bit of one i don't want to touch too much on wano yet because i want to say further thoughts on one until after the whole cake island arc is finished then we can discuss more about the future where things where events might occur for that arc but holy crap <laughs> this is a this is a big bombshell people aren't estimating this but this is a really big bombshell to get the reverie before the one arc or maybe it's my it might be concurrent to one we don't know how old is going to structure this, so I'm really looking forward to that. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it a lot. Anyway, I don't know what you guys think about this. Let me know your opinions and your predictions for One Piece in 2017. And keep on keeping on. Later. <laughs>